Welcome. I'm Nora Shabazi, the founder of Ebly, Evidence-Based Literacy Instruction, a system to effectively and efficiently teach anyone of any age or ability level to reach their highest potential in reading, writing, and spelling. And this blog is called uh, Kindergarten Teacher's Story, Changing My Literacy Instruction. And it is the perfect ending when it's being released here, the last day of March, which is reading month. Um, and so you'll learn in the blog a lot about Julie's experience, Julie Van Leeris, who is being highlighted here. And you'll learn about her experience in her classroom and with teaching Ebley and all of that type of thing. But I wanted to share a little bit of the backstory um, of Julie. So a couple of years ago, Julie emailed and contacted us. She's a, a kindergarten teacher, veteran teacher of about 20 years. And she was frustrated because she was working really hard in her class and in the evenings at home and on the weekends. To, to teach her kids to read in kindergarten. And, to, and she was in a high um, poverty area with a lot of disadvantaged students. And so she just knew that she could be doing better and, and helping her kids do better, but she wasn't really sure what to do to be able to change that. So she had been in her search, she'd come across Ebley. And after we talked for quite a while, she decided that she was gonna pay herself uh, to get trained in Ebley. Her school does a balanced literacy approach. And that's what she was really frustrated with. So she got trained a couple of years ago and um, went back and started um, teaching Ebley with Fidelity, starting at the beginning and going through just like, like she was supposed to. But she was also teaching her balanced literacy instruction at the same time for about the first month or so. So in Ebley, she was teaching kids to decode. She was teaching them to not guess when she, they were practicing in their little decodable readers at the beginning. Um, and she was teaching them how to spell accurately in their writing and, um, and doing explicit instruction with all of that. And then another part of the day, she was doing reading groups where the kids would look at the picture to figure out the word or um, talk to each other, read to themselves or read to each other, um, guessing the words, uh, memorizing a part of the sentence in order to read the pattern books. And she emailed me one day. She still continues to email me several times, typically in a week, which is pretty awesome. Um, but she emailed me one day and she said, wait a minute, I'm doing Ebley, but then I'm doing this other stuff that it seems to me like I'm undoing everything that I do with Ebley. So I was thrilled to hear her make that connection and to do it so quickly, um, you know, after having just started really teaching Ebley for about a month or so. So she shifted that and started teaching purely Ebley and was sending, you know, she was amazed. Many of her kids didn't even know how to write any letters and over half of them didn't know how to write their name. And she couldn't believe within the first months of school how well her students were doing. And, and both Hannah and I got to, when we were working over on the west side of the state in Michigan, um, in some schools um, one week, we got to meet her and have dinner with, or maybe dessert, with, with Julie and, you know, just really share back and forth and get a feel for her passion um, for her kids and for teaching. She's absolutely spectacular and delightful and motivated and dedicated. So that is really, really so exciting. And, and she, over time, I mean, I just have actually three emails from her today even. Um, over time, her questions get more in depth and more um, sophisticated. And, um, and she, none of her children will be left behind. And, um, and she's determined uh, to do that. This is her second year of teaching Ebley and it's also during COVID. And she said, my kids at the middle of the year making tremendous gains where most people are seeing their kids make tremendous, you know, backslides and, and that's not happening with her kids. Another thing that she celebrates all the time um, and I love to hear about is how she's freed up so much instructional time in her classroom and she's teaching science and doing, she just sent me something, a, a science project that their kids are doing. Um, and she's also says, I have so much free time at home. I'm not spending all this time doing lesson planning and all. She was working very hard, but not getting the results that she was hoping for. And now she's working a lot less hard, um, significantly, and getting results that she really never thought was possible. So she is a passionate Ebley literacy champion. 
um, and always learning too. She this uh, when COVID started, she decided to have several of her colleagues who had been questioning, "What are you doing? And how is it that these kids are, you know, her kids at the end of the year, the first year actually in March because it was COVID, um, were higher than almost all of the first graders. Almost all of her kids were higher than almost all of the first graders as far as their literacy scores before they they left to do virtual instruction. And so many of her colleagues became interested in what she was doing, and so she started hosting book clubs. She uh, hosted did a book club on speech to print by Louisa Motes, um, had discussions every week with these teachers. I mean, how amazing is that? That's just called a phenomenal educator. She also had The Knowledge Gap by Natalie Wexler, talking about how background knowledge and vocabulary and all of that is so crucial to getting our kids to be highly proficient readers um, and writers and spellers, of course. And also Equipped for Reading Success by um, David Kilpatrick, his work on uh, phonological awareness and phonemic awareness. So she is educating other people on her own, all this extra free time that she has, and she continues to be tremendously motivated to do what is ever necessary. What's ever necessary. Now she's teaching kids from other grade levels during her time in the morning before school and after school for free to, you know, to be able to help as many kids as possible. So she's kind of been, not kind of, very much so, been bitten by the bug. And I think you're going to be so delighted with reading um, about her experiences in this blog. So I appreciate you listening and I appreciate you watching. And I would very much love it if you would comment in the comments with anything that, um, any questions, any insights, anything that you would like to share. And I thank you very much also for joining in on this mission that we all collectively have to teach the world to read.